The year was 1895. Young electrical engineer and inventor John Cromwell Lincoln founded the Lincoln Electric Company with $200 and set out to commercialize his latest invention, a direct current electric motor. What started as a spark of ingenuity flickered and gained momentum. In 1907, John brought his brother James into the company and together the Lincoln brothers launched their first arc welder in 1911. Their brothers shared a commitment to providing innovative, cost-efficient welding solutions and fostered a company guided by the Golden Rule. In 1918, recognizing each other's strengths, James took over day-to-day -day business operations, while John pursued scientific investigation, which led to 55 patents over his lifetime. A born motivator and progressive thinker, James designed Lincoln's incentive management system that develops people, pays for performance, and rewards contributions, and has become a hallmark of the company's success. At the brink of World War I, the United States Army requested welding training for the troops headed into battle, which launched the Lincoln Electric Welding School. The 1920s and 30s saw greater adoption and advancements in arc welding. In 1927, Lincoln introduced the revolutionary Fleet Weld 5 electrode, which catapulted the company through the Great Depression. World War II generated a dramatic expansion in arc welding to support wartime efforts, and the need for the Lincoln Electric Welding School was at its peak, running three shifts a day and graduating 180 welders a month, including over 400 women. New sub-arc welding reduced the Liberty ship's assembly to a record 42 days, resulting in the building of over 2,700 Liberty ships over the course of the war. The 1950s and 60s saw Lincoln focused on improving its operational processes, with the construction of its new state-of-the-art manufacturing headquarters in Euclid, Ohio, while expanding its products and reach overseas. 1965 marked the end of Lincoln family management of the business with the death of James Lincoln. We will work together for a common end. Every successive president and CEO since has held true to the groundbreaking principles and core values established by the Lincoln brothers. In 1975, the Harvard Business School published a case study on Lincoln's incentive management system, one of Harvard's best-selling publications. The early 1980s tested Lincoln's resilience with a national recession. Although sales dropped almost 40% and the company's guaranteed employment promise was challenged, no one lost their job. Employees took different positions within the company to support sales and promote new products. At the same time, Lincoln Electric increased its distribution network by over 70% and expanded operations to 16 countries. This growth was recognized with the U.S. Presidential E Award for Exporters Mastering Excellence, the first of three presidential awards earned by the company. The 1990s established a new era with computerized welding equipment and new robotic systems. Lincoln also entered the world of plasma and oxyfuel cutting. In 1995, Lincoln celebrated its centennial anniversary and started to trade as a public company. The 2000s marked continued international expansion and growth. In 2009, the Great Recession tested Lincoln Electric once again. Although sales were down 30%, Lincoln still launched a record 108 new products to spur growth. By 2012, the company began to rapidly expand its automation portfolio by acquiring 10 companies in five years. The acquisition of Air Liquid Welding doubled the size of the company's European business. And by the end of the decade, Lincoln opened its state-of-the-art welding technology and training center and launched its new large-scale additive manufacturing business. With 125 years of industry leadership, Lincoln Electric is better positioned than ever before. Known as the welding experts around the globe, the company remains at the forefront of technology, guided by the golden rule, 
and committed to operating by a higher standard to build a better world. 